Hi, I'm Corey Rich. We're on a beautiful granite dome in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. And what we're going to talk about in this segment is the idea of making the most out of your environment. It doesn't require that you go to the most spectacular location, but it's leveraging that location to create visual diversity. Oftentimes the first thing that I'll do when I arrive at a location is literally make either a mental shot list or I'll write it on a piece of paper and shove that into my back pocket so that as the shoot progresses I have something to go back to, I have a fallback plan. One of the rules of photography when shooting outdoors is that the sun waits for no one and it turns out the best light is that first hour of the day and the last hour of the day. Sometimes it's referred to as the magic hour. So you've got to be prepared and you've got to be there and you've got to be working to make those images count, make that time count. For this morning shoot I decided to go with the Nikon D7100. It's a small form factor camera and ultra lightweight. This means it's less to carry in my backpack. I also went with a lighter set of lenses. On the wide side I went with the Nikkor 10-24 lens. I had a 50mm 1.8 and a 70-200mm f4 lens. This is a pretty lightweight package, yet it allows me a ton of creativity. I'm not limited by my equipment, but I'm also not carrying extra weight. No matter what location I'm shooting at, one of the things that I do is cycle through lenses repeatedly. I'm always switching lenses. By switching lenses, I'm forcing myself to see different, and the thought process is to create wide shots, medium shots, and tight shots. With each individual moment, I'm really thinking about three things. I'm thinking about the light, that's the direction that the light source and the quality of the light source is hitting the subject. Number two, I'm thinking about the composition. Where am I putting the subject within that frame? And finally, I'm thinking about the moment. We're shooting hiking on this granite dome and I'm trying to decide, do I press the shutter when their feet are off the ground? Where are they framed in the shot? And the beauty of shooting with the D7100 is that I have the ability to do bursts of images so that when they get into that sweet spot in the frame, I can actually do a burst of images and then decide later which was the best moment. Every once in a while, the perfect perspective requires sitting on the job. It's the most comfortable I've been all morning. I'm just soaking it in. Okay, here we go, guys. Perfect, that looks good, guys. It's a nice backlit angle. We're getting a little fall colors in the background and then that, just that fresh coating of snow adds to the whole scene. The idea is really just milk each situation for as many photographic scenarios as possible. It's, it's sometimes difficult to pull yourself away from the camera, but you've really got to communicate. I spend a lot of time communicating and encouraging them and explaining that we're making great pictures because that excitement makes the entire process more fun for all of us. When it's all said and done, it's really about getting out there, being creative, pushing yourself, and having a lot of fun in the process.